Hey there, it's me, Joshua Harrell, with another Travel Rev Ops Blackboard session. And in this session, I actually have a Blackboard. Um, so that's a, that's a huge plus. In today's session, we're going to talk about your website. In particular, we're going to talk about the, the basic things that you need to have or to be monitoring, staying, staying on top of with your website site in order to convert unknown visitors to your website to your website to known visitors. It's extremely important because if you don't know who they are, then you're not able to market to them. Okay? Thus you can't sell to them. So first I'm going to start out with now everything I'm going to talk about today, we could do whole sessions on. So we probably will. But just to give you a quick overview, let's start with the sales funnel. So you'll see very various different descriptions for a sales funnel, but essentially this is how people get into your system so you can sell to them. So there's four stages. The awareness stage, that's where they just are familiar, not familiar, they've learned about your brand. Maybe they've uh, signed up to receive your email newsletter. So they found you on the web. So they're aware of you. Then they become a little more interested in you. Maybe that's where they sign up for their news, your newsletter or um, they schedule time to speak with you or they request a quote and then they need to make a decision. Um, are they going to choose you or are they going to go somewhere else? Then they have to take action. That's when they are going to buy and become a customer for life or they're going to move on. They might come back to you. But that the decision stage or the action stage is where they actually take that action. Okay, so this sales funnel is you've, you're doing lots of things. You're doing your advertising. You're just trying to get these little things into your funnel, and there's you need a lot of traffic. You need a lot of people visiting your website before you can get to the one, the two, the three, the smaller number who actually purchases from you. So that's a brief overview of a sales funnel. Now. What we have found over and over again, there are three major components of a website that most people do not pay attention to. But guess what? We're going to give you those three items so you can make your website better or give yourself a big A plus if you've already taken care of this. So I'm going to slide over out of the shot so you can see it. Um, so first, always start with the navigation. Is your, navi is your site very easy to navigate. So right here we're talking about like you might have your little logo in the upper left and then you have your menu items. Um, maybe it's about me, services I provide, my blog, um, and then contact me. Now the rule here is don't have more than five menu items up here. More than five is too many. The brain whoop, can't handle it. So stay under five, and one of those could even be request a quote. I don't even think you're going to be able to see this. Request quote. So that could be a call to action, a CTA. Um, so we could do about, services, um, destinations, and um, this one could be my blog. Okay, but don't go more than that. And what I would advise you to do is don't use a drop down menu. The reason why you could have many, many other menu items on your site if you had a drop down for each one of these. However, when your site is viewed on a mobile device, then each menu item is in a drop down already. And then if you have a drop down, then you get additional drop downs. So it becomes drop down insane. So try to keep five and under in terms of your main navigation. Now throughout your website you can point people to different places on your on your website but at the very top across all the pages have a very consistent navigation that is simple and easy to navigate. Alright, visuals. How important are visuals? They are super important, okay? Your, it's not just 
the photos, the imagery that you use on your website. It's the colors. The, don't be a hot mess. Don't use all the colors of the rainbow. Pick s some color palettes, three, maybe five colors that all are very complementary, and use those consistently throughout your site. Okay, that can be a part of your logo, um, or it could just be a color, a color palette that works well with your logo. Okay, but be consistent. As someone moves to your website, they should feel like they're on the same site. Okay. Now the other thing with visuals is make sure the images reflect what you sell or what you want to sell. Okay. So I always say, open up your website and then step eight feet back away from the screen. If you sell scuba diving vacations and the image that we see on the very top of your, your front page of your website doesn't show somebody in scuba gear or scuba diving, then there's a disconnect. Make sure that it's very easy for someone who's standing eight feet away from the screen. They can't read all the words, but they can read some of them and they can see the picture. Make sure your visuals signal what you sell. Okay, you'd be surprised at how many people this is a huge miss. Maybe they specialize in weddings, but they never they don't show a couple getting married. Uh, that's a big miss. Okay, so look at your vi visuals, and I kind of jumped ahead on the color palette, kind of tied them together because again, don't be a hot mess. Make sure that the that you are using a color palette, complementary colors. If your logo is black and white, then choose, you can choose pretty much any color. But if your, um, if your logo has um, some particular shades uh, of colors in it, then try to find complementary colors or use those same colors. But pick a family and stay in it, okay? Now I'm gonna flip it over, because what, that's a lot of theory, but what can we do right now? So, I'm gonna move over here. Or no, am I? Am I moving right over here? I am, okay. <laughs> I wanna make sure you guys can see this. So right now, if you do not have a website, create a website. You have to have an online presence. I'm gonna to try to stick my face in there. You have to have an online presence in this world to really do business. People can't find you if you are nowhere to be found. So make sure you create a website. Then establish a theme. This is where you can use those um, images that that sell or show what you sell and your color palette make sure that it sings with your theme um, create that navigation remember the rule of five no more than five menu items and the other tip with the menu items, I'm just gonna sneak my face in here, <laughs> with the menu items, is even though you probably don't use a website this way, some people actually follow in order from left to right, and they visit each page in that navigation all the way up to your call to action, um, or contact me, whatever that link is. So think of the order that navigation is in. Does it make sense? Do you uh, ask, do you put the call to action, request a quote first, and then you tell them about yourself and the services you offer and then your blog? That you probably would want them to learn about you, then your services, and then your blog, and then contact you. That would be a more uh, logical approach to your navigation. Um, then create CTAs, remember, calls to action. That's what this is. So it could be subscribe to my newsletter and get amazing uh, inspiration for your next vacation. Um, it could be uh, schedule time to talk with me so I can discuss uh, options for you and your family's reunion. Uh, lots of different options for calls to action. It's really limited by your creativity, but the more variety you have and the more frequent they are placed, uh, frequent, not frequently, but consistently they're placed throughout your website, the more apt those unknown users will take action and become known to you so you can market to them. And then create content. Create not only the pages, the about me page, the destinations page, the services page, but create blog content. Highlight your expertise in writing, 
in photos. Some people do a lot better with videos. So put your videos on a blog, but make sure that you're adding content and adding pages to your website. That's not only going to help the visitor understand who you are and what you do and potentially choose you when it's time to take action, um, but it's also helping those search engines crawl through your website and make sure that they can serve you up uh, when someone is looking for what you have to offer. Now, you, you may be asking, well, I already have a website, so um, what do I do? Well, right now, you need to look at all these things and check the effectiveness, okay? Um, does your website have a theme? Do, have you been very purposeful about the colors that you've chosen? Um, are you consistent with the way you use them? Um, what about those images? Are they, is there an opportunity for you to make the images look like um, they're all taken by the same photographer? And if you took the pictures, even better. That's a great way to make sure that your website is uniquely you. Um, but check those things out. Color palette, image, imagery. Make sure that you have a strong theme. Is your navigation easy to navigate? Maybe if you can't be objective about it, maybe get a family member or a friend and get their feedback. Don't get offended if they don't like what you've done, but listen to them and see, hmm, if I make that change, if I just tested that change out, would it change how people are using my website? Uh, make sure you've got those CTAs all over the place. Like I said, um, if you only have one CTA, one call to action, and that's request a quote, you do not have enough CTAs. So even I give you an A minus because you have one on your website, but you should have more. They should be all over your website. And are you creating content? If you're not, why not? And if you are creating content, is it the right content? Is it working for you? Dig deeper. You can make this good because this is your homestead on the on, on, uh, in the online world, okay? So it can be whatever you want it to be. And no, a million people are probably not gonna hit your website, but several hundred will, maybe several thousand. So make sure that there's enough to keep them there and keep them interested and get them to take action. Now, I am gonna ask you to take action. Since we just started the Travel Rev Ops Blackboard sessions, we wanna know, what do you want us to talk about in these sessions? So if you have an idea, something that you want us to talk about, then email me, joshua at worldvia, with a V, uh, dot com, and in the subject line put Blackboard, and then in the body, say, uh, give, give us your idea. What do, you want, what, do you, what do you want us to talk about? What are you struggling with, okay? Put that in the body and also introduce yourself, okay? I, I would love to meet you, hi. Uh, I'd love to meet you and we might talk about your topic in the next Blackboard session. Until next time, jump in, do some amazing revenue operations. That's the Rev Ops in Travel Rev Ops. That's service, sales, and marketing. That's what we're here to help you do. So check in for the next video. We'll see you real soon. Bye.